or Jagger Jagger. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. Well, paid parental leave is essential for working families, for parents and for their children. The changes in this bill update a scheme that is now more than a decade old. It does the work those opposite failed to do during their time in government, but the work that Labor governments do. Almost 13 years ago, the Gillard government introduced Australia's first national paid parental leave scheme. And this change was spearheaded by Jenny Macklin, my predecessor as the member for Jagger Jagger, and I was proud to work with Jenny to help bring paid parental leave to life as part of the reforming work of the Gillard government. This Labor government is now doing the work to continue to help Australians and Australian families. Building on the existing paid parental leave scheme and the positive impacts it's had and that we've seen in the past 13 years and now making it even better. These reforms to paid parental leave are a significant expansion of the scheme, taking it to 26 weeks leave by July 2026. This expanded scheme will include four weeks of reserve leave for each parent from 2026, meaning that both parents will be encouraged to share caring responsibilities for their kids. And this does send a strong signal to families and to employers that both parents, mum and dad, should be playing a role in taking on care responsibilities. The bill also introduces concurrent leave, which means that from 2026, both parents can take four weeks of leave at the same time if they want to, giving families more flexibility in how they organise their care. And this does really reflect the reality of modern families, where both families are working uh, and where we increasingly see that dads do want to take time off to care for their children. So we know that these changes will support families as a whole. We also know that they will support uh, better maternal health and recovery by giving women more time, supported time after giving birth. And having recently, uh, or fairly recently, still gone through that experience of um, having babies myself, um, I am very aware that there is possibly no greater disruption in a woman's life. And for too many Australian women, they do still feel like they go through, without, through that period without enough support. So that is another reason why it is really important that we are expanding this scheme and that we are making it easier for parents to take the flexible leave uh, that will support women at this life-changing period. Providing long-term benefits for both parents taking good chunks of leave, balancing work and family life, helping to embed the habits of care that then follow into the months and years that come for the rest of that child's life and for the household. Around 180,000 Australian families will benefit each year from these changes. Deputy Speaker, as I've already said, the introduction of paid parental leave in 2011 was a game changer for Australian families. 18 weeks paid leave, fully funded by the government, was a first for many families, in particular for women in lower paid industries and in casual or part-time work. Uh, in many cases, employers in those industries were not offering paid leave schemes. And so the government scheme, uh, introduced by a Labor government in 2011, was the first time those women had access to paid leave, giving them stability, giving support to families at a time of great change in their day-to-day -day lives. It did mean parents, and it was and has been overwhelmingly mothers, could take time in those crucial early months to care for their child while still having money coming in and continuing that connection with their workplace for when they were ready to return. Uh, and that connection is important. A report on the early years of PPL in Australia found that uh, it has improved longer-term attachment to the workforce. So rather than women simply leaving jobs because they couldn't get any paid leave, they were continuing to have a connection to that workplace. More women returning to the workplace 12 months after giving birth following the introduction of the scheme. And of course, that is important not just for those women individually, but for all of us in terms of workplaces and productivity in our country. The present setting for PPL is up to 20 weeks, with two weeks reserved for each parent on a use it or lose it basis. And from 1 July next year, uh, this scheme uh, will be expanded by the government by two weeks each year until PPL reaches 26 weeks in 2026. And that's a full six months for families. As part of that expansion, the number of weeks within that reserve for each parent on the use it or lose it basis will be four weeks each. 
That then leaves 18 weeks of paid leave remaining for parents to divvy up how they like and for whatever structure works best for their family. Again, that element of flexibility of recognising that for modern families, both parents are generally trying to juggle work and both parents want to be part of caring for their children. Uh, the changes do mean parents will be able to take up to four weeks of PPL at the same time, doubling the existing measure. Uh, and with it, as I've said, the benefits that come from parents, parents also being able to take leave together. And again, going back to that point around maternal recovery, uh, that extra support, being able to take leave together is very important. And I do hope that that reduces some of the stress that parents find at this life-changing and moment of upheaval. Single parents will also benefit from the expansion. They'll have access to the entire 26-week entitlement. Deputy Speaker, paid parental leave in this country has been a huge step forward, particularly for, work for workplace and economic equality for women. Uh, we do know that in this country, the disproportionate share of unpaid caring still falls on women, uh, and that does have long-term consequences for their careers and for their economic security. Uh, the Grattan Institute in a report highlighted that care and family responsibilities account for 39 per cent of the gap uh, between men and women. Time out of the workforce, part-time work associated with care, putting women on a lower earnings trajectory because it reduces their years of job-specific experience and because flexible part-time work is generally associated with slower career progression. And of course, over the course of a woman's working life, this trajectory leads to a lifetime earnings gap that is rightly called a gulf between mothers and fathers' earnings. And Again, we've seen data that uh, after uh, a woman has a baby, her earning potential does decrease, while for men they see uh, no change. So again, that's why these types of schemes, why this scheme is so important. And I do know that uh, previously for so many women, the combined effects of not having access to good paid parental leave uh, and not having access to affordable childcare have been really huge parts uh, of why they may have decided to not participate in the workforce as much as they wanted to or as much as, in fact, as it would have benefited them and their family to do so. So it is important. Our government is working through this paid parental leave scheme, through our changes to childcare, to make that easier for families. This reform will allow both parents to take up caring responsibilities. Uh, international evidence shows us that when both parents take leave and take on care roles, there are long-term benefits. Uh, rather than what we've previously called the primary caregiver, in the vast number of cases that being the mother taking all of the vast bulk of the leave, uh, we will have what we call the secondary caregiver, or the father in most situations, taking leave as well, meaning those caring responsibilities are being shared. Uh, Normalising the idea that dads take time off too, that they get involved from that very beginning. Normalising that parenting is a partnership. The evidence does tell us, particularly from overseas where there are paid parental leave schemes already in existence that provide greater support for men to take leave, uh, shows us that when fathers take a greater caring role from the start, there is a more even distribution of household responsibilities, not just in the immediate term, but persisting throughout the child's life. That's a good thing for families. Uh, and it is also a good thing for how people interact uh, with their workplaces, because the research also shows us that dads who use paid parental leave tended to have increased job and life satisfaction, increased happiness in having the time uh, to spend solo time caring for their child. And I will say it may not always feel like that at the time when you're spending solo time caring for a child, but the data does show us that it um, absolutely increases people's sense of satisfaction and that sense that they can balance the responsibilities they have uh, between work and family. And that's what our government wants to see and support. Both parents being a part of caring, shared care is important, and we want workplaces and communities to reinforce and support this idea too. Deputy Speaker, we're certainly not there yet. The Grand Institute has found that Australian women do an average of two hours more unpaid work per day than men. Uh, on the other side, Australian men do two hours more of paid work. Uh, we do, in fact, have one of the biggest labour divisions of countries in the developed world. In 2017-2018, 0.5% of parents using the parental leave pay uh, part of the scheme, the primary caregiver part, were men. Just 0.5% of men as a primary caregiver. Uh, and even uh, the dad and partner pay aspect of the scheme 
uh, which was entirely, almost entirely taken up by men, uh, had only half the uptake of parental leave pay. So we're still not seeing uh, that uptake that we would like to see, and part of these changes, I very much hope, will drive an uptake uh, in that flexibility, in that in normalising the idea that men are able uh, to take that leave, that both parents can take that leave when a child is born and to make use of it. The use it or lose it provision is particularly important here. Uh, with these changes, each, each parent has at least four weeks uh, to take of leave. Beyond that, they can use the remaining weeks in whatever combination they like. Uh, and again, the international evidence shows us that use it or lose it uh, provisions are particularly uh, effective in encouraging fathers to take up leave. Uh, so in Quebec in 2005, the year before their version of this type of dad leave started, 28 per cent of fathers were taking parental leave. In 2018, this had jumped to 80 per cent. So the use it or lose it provision there was particularly important in making that change. We also know, of course, that um, expanding PPL um, does mean that we spend more money on the scheme, but what we get from that is an increase in GDP from an increased workplace participation in women. So we do all, as a community, benefit uh, from the economic participation elements that can come from this scheme. I'm also really pleased to see more and more employers taking up the challenge of providing good paid parental leave schemes and providing paid parental leave schemes uh, that do support both women and men to take time off. That is a powerful thing that uh, employers and workplaces are normalising that. And again, we do want to see a greater uptake uh, of those employer-led schemes. And importantly, uh, the government scheme works closely with employer schemes to ensure that parents and families get as much support and as much time off as they can in those crucial early years. Deputy Speaker, our government hasn't wasted time on getting on with making these changes to pay parental leave. To pay parental leave. As I said, it was a Labor government who introduced this scheme that meant for the first time that Australia did have a national paid parental leave scheme. It's been a decade in between, uh, but our government since then has, uh, since we've come into office, has got straight on with listening to the experts, listening to Australian families, uh, and modernising and updating our paid parental leave scheme to provide families with expanded support, uh, to provide mothers and fathers with flexible care, uh, to provide workplaces with care that works for their employees, uh, and to benefit us all by making sure that we are supporting Australian families at a time when we know the cost of living is a real issue, uh, when we know that parents are making critical decisions about how they do support their families, I know uh, that this paid parental leave scheme, this expansion of the amount of support that Australian families are receiving through the paid parental leave scheme will be warmly welcomed in my community and in communities around this country. Because we do know, again, that is often that time when uh, families are looking at having a, a new child, that they do particularly feel some of those cost of living pressures. And they are making decisions about financial security and uh, financial options into the future. And again, this scheme uh, reflects the realities of modern Australian families' lives. It reflects the fact that both parents uh, work, that both parents want to be involved in caring, and it allows that to take place for families. This scheme will support women to remain connected to the workforce. It will do some of that work we still need to do to continue to close the gender pay gap, to continue to uh, build women's economic participation so that they are not left at the end of their working lives with a gap uh, on their retirement incomes. It will also, importantly, support young people, support children, because, again, we do know uh, that when families are secure, when both parents are able to participate in caregiving, that is a much better start to life for uh, Australian children. So I'm very uh, pleased and proud to be speaking to this bill today, and I'm very pleased and proud uh, that it's a Labor government that is building on what was a very important Labor initiative in 2011 with this expanded and more flexible scheme.